Hello friends, welcome to the My Smart Class YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Nileshwala and today we are going to learn about the various temperature scales. As you know that there are the three scale of the measuring the temperature. One is degree Celsius, one second one is degree Fahrenheit and third one is a Kelvin. As you heard that I said about degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit but I don't place the degree on the Kelvin. So remember one thing, there is a no degree on the Kelvin. So there is a simple relationship between Kelvin and Celsius. As we know that the Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273.18. So by placing the simple value of Celsius or Kelvin, you can find out the relationship between these two things. Now, there is some complication between Celsius and Fahrenheit. As regularly you have heard about in the uh, medical cases that some person having a fear of 103 degree. So what do you mean by 103 degree? That 103 degree represents the not Celsius but it is Fahrenheit. Because water boils at a temperature of 100 degree Celsius. So if you imagine that some person having a fever of 103 degree that means water can boil if we place in the palm of that person okay so it is a, not a degree celsius but it is a degree fahrenheit so let's convert that 103 degree fahrenheit to the celsius so as i am here showing that equation fahrenheit and celsius relationship that is a degree fahrenheit is equal to 9 by 5 degree celsius plus 32 so just we are keeping the value of degree fahrenheit like 103 and equation same as it is. So now we have one unknown quantity that is a degree Celsius. So here is a 103. So we are going to subtract that 32 from that 103. Okay. So that answer is a 71. So here is a is this side of equal to there is a 9 by 5 Celsius. So we are keeping Celsius over here and we are taking 9 by 5 over the other side of the equal to. So that equal to becomes 71 into 5 by 9. So the answer will be get 355 divided by 9 and finally answer is a 39.4 degree Celsius. I think you know that our body temperature regulates between the 36.5 to 37.5 degree Celsius. That is a normal range of body temperature. But suppose this temperature is going above or going to down that makes the various problem in the body. Like if our body temperature is going to below 35 degrees Celsius, that called is hypothermia. I think you have heard about the Titanic movie. Many people are die due to the hypothermia when body temperature goes down to the uh, below to the 35 degree, and that is uh, goes to the death. But suppose if the temperature is going to above 38.3 degree, that's called is a hyperthermia. And that is also responsible for the death of person. In the summer season, many people are going to die due to this problem. So this is the conversion of degree Celsius to the degree Fahrenheit and degree Fahrenheit to the Celsius. My one question is to you that you have to solve by yourself. At which temperature degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit becomes equal? And I'm also giving you a hint that place the value of degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit is equal to X and you have to find out that x so that was this lecture if you have any doubt you can contact me in that comment box so i will wait for you thanks bye bye